Hi everyone. What we have here is a TG611 governor. And what I'm trying to show you today is how you set the overspeed trip on your turbine. So number one, just assuming you're running at 3000 RPM and you want to trip your turbine at 3150. So you're running it to 3000 RPM, you remove this gold cap. Now, you take this little rod here, you actuate the fulcrum. Put the T-hand in there. So, you turn this in clockwise. What you're doing is you're just pushing down on a little plunger that's inside. And if you notice on the video there, you're, there's a gold lever here that's starting to go down. It's connected onto your speed or your speed setting. And what happens as you turn this in, it starts to eventually push down on this lever here, which push, pushes pressure down on your speeder rod, which of course now puts pressure down on your spring, and of course applies down on the spring, pushes down on the weights. Now what you're doing is you're overriding your, your 3000 RPM, and now you can go further with the you can bring up the speed of the governor to trip your turbine. So you would just turn this, turn it, and just assume and now you hit 3150. So you've tripped your turbine at you know the speed you were looking to trip it at. Your turbine's running down. So you would take, push this down. Pull the T-handle off. Put it back up. And you run your turbine down and you're going for your second trip because I think you guys generally do three or four trips. So the next time, all you'll have to do is slowly actuate this to get your second overspeed trip in your turbine. So you push down, and it's very easy to put down, very nice control. You slowly push it down. And just think, right there, you trip your turbine again. So your turbine runs down, come back up. Now, you wait for your turbine to run, and you want to do your third trip. You do the same thing once again, just to actuate it in, and you should get your 3150. Boom. So, if you noticed the first time I brought this down, first time I brought this down, I had it resting again so I still had room here to actually actuate this down. So if it turns out that you need more than the 3150 for example you always have this extra room to come down. So this is why I set this with it against the T handle. So now you keep it there, you can keep it in this position, because once you come to the top, it's out of play, you never have to worry about it. You can, the next time you go to do an overspeed trip, you can, you know you're set on the money, you don't have to worry about it. Or if you decide that you, you know, would rather not have it actuated, 
Then of course you can just take this out of play. Just turn the counterclockwise. There. Just turn to the top. Take it out. And you can sit here and move this and it doesn't do anything. Everything's 100%. You don't have to worry about it actuating. Nothing changes. So whichever, whether you feel like having it engaged or not, that's personal choice. Put the cap back on. And that's that. Okay, thank you. Have a good day.